Welcome to the King's Men Podcast with Pastor Paul from Set Free Life Church. This is the place to come for real talk from real men that want real results from a real Jesus. Stay tuned. What's going on, everybody? It's Pastor Paul, your Set Free Life Coach, and welcome to the King's Men Podcast. I got my armor bearer, my right-hand man, the dude that helps me make all the creation work here at Set Free Life Church. I got Juan Frias. Juan Frias, why don't you introduce yourself, man, and let's get this thing rocking. How you doing, guys? Juan Frias with Set Free Life Church. I'm here just rocking it with Pastor Paul. Amen. Well, check it out. This whole uh, concept of the King's Men is something that had come up in my spirit over the Thanksgiving weekend. And so as we're doing this trailer, this intro on exactly what the King's Men podcast is, um, it's not only a podcast, it is actually morphed into a ministry that we are about to launch in the summer. Um, and this is totally geared for men, period. This is like the like the little rascals where they would put the sign up, bro, that would say like, you know, no girls allowed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. That's what this whole thing is going to be all about. And so we just want to welcome all you men that are coming in and we're just going to share our heart because I was, like I said, I was on vacation with my wife over Thanksgiving break and um, we were in Colorado and we got snowed in and it was crazy because we're, I was like, golly, man, like we wanted to go check out the mountains. We want to check out stuff. We want to spend time with our son. He couldn't come see us because we were literally overnight. It was like a foot and a half of snow. Wow. And so we're sitting there like, Oh my God. And I remember you guys sending us texts. Like, are you guys all right? Everything cool. We're sending screenshots of where we were at. Remember? Yeah, I remember. You know what I'm saying? And so it's like, Oh my God. And so I started sitting there and it was basically, I did a, uh, a podcast a few weeks after that called, um, for God's forced rest. And so I was literally forced to rest and I was like, Oh my God, this is where God had to take me to get this rest. So in that time, what had happened, bro, was I start working on my iPad and I was doing logos for the next sermon that I was going to do for set free life. And then all of a sudden I was like, you know what? I think we're going to create a podcast called the King's men. And I was like, and me and Juan are just going to have conversations, Mm -hmm. not even so much like interviews, but just conversation about, about men's stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like we just came back from a breakfast this morning with a good friend of ours, Richard Garza and Tamika's son, Don. And we were just talking about what we want this ministry to look like as far as, um, the men and we're doing this. It's, I don't even know what you call it. It's going to be a, a day of men. And so, Juan was sitting there thinking, and then, and I had already knew what the name was going to be, right? Yeah. And so Juan was like, well, it's got to be a name that's like, in, that pops and this and that. And I'm like, yep, yep. And I was already thinking it, but it was Juan's vision. So I didn't want to be like taking control and be like, okay, this is what we're going to call it, right? Yeah. I was sitting there. I was praying. I was like, all right, God, if it's you, it's show Juan. So then Juan was, matter of fact, I'll just let you break down that story of what happened. So we were having breakfast and I was sitting there thinking, I was like, man, it just came up King's men. Right. I mean, how more powerful can you get that? Right. You know, and, and cause technically, cause in reality we are King's men. Amen. You know? So I was thinking, I was like, man, so I put up my phone. I was looking at the picture. I was like, how am I going to bring this to Pastor Paul? Right. <laughs> so I said, oh, well, the, what we were talking about the other day, the one that don't know, won't never know if you don't speak. Right. So that's when I said, Hey, I got a, I got an, uh, a name right. that's taken. Yeah. <laughs> and I already knew at that point, I'm like, all right, he caught the vision. Yeah. So that, that's when I showed you the picture that you sent me, but you were hesitant. Yeah. Cause you're like, well, shoot. I'm like, this is his stamp. This is, mm-hmm. you know, but at the same time, it's like, I've learned throughout life that look, when you catch a revelation of something, mm-hmm. own it. Yeah. Like that's yours. You follow what I'm yeah. saying? And so we just wanted to break down this trailer really quick and we don't know how long it's going to go, but we're just going to talk about man stuff. Yeah. Right. And so what this podcast is going to be geared out of is men stuff, okay. the stuff that we deal with, mm-hmm. the stuff that pisses us off, the stuff that we can't really be transparent in a church setting. Yes. Right. And so we're just going to be able to express. And so what we want to prepare those men that are in the local area is for 
our King's Men. I don't even know what we're going to call it. I don't know if it's a it's it's not a conference. No. It might be a revival or something, but it's going to be here in the DFW Metroplex. And so the ideas that we have, matter of fact, I'll just let you break some of that stuff down and we'll, let's just get into this conversation, man. Well, my 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 vision is just a bunch of men from all over the city, right, just gathering together, eating some barbecue, um meeting people, doing what we like to do is eat. Yeah, doing what we like to do, eat, hear hear a good message from couple of pastors right um one from from you right and um hear some testimonies just because we never know that i might have influence on a person that lives in frisco right that doesn't even go to my church come on but i'm going through what he's going or went through what he's going through right and i might be able to pray for him and and speak life into him that nobody else knows what he he's going through because they ain't been there right you know so what you're saying is everyone has their own gift Exactly. Everyone has their own calling because I firmly believe that what I do, you may not be able to do. Exactly. Right? You may learn from it, mm-hmm. but I can't do what you do. Mm-hmm. That's your lane. You follow what I'm yes. saying? And so um, I just think it's awesome because we're going to be able to get all of us men together. Yes. And then coordinate this thing. And and, and I'm looking at people from, like I was telling you earlier, car clubs, hot rods, um the just a regular dad, um, engaged guy, boyfriend, teenager, right? You know, right? Because one thing I learned, and and I, it, it says like, it's hard to be a guy. It's hard being a man, right? You know, and right. And I think this is where we we gather together as men, show the new generation like, hey, we gotta get our stuff together, because we got houses to build and lead, right? You know, and and people to to serve. And people to lead them where, where we want to lead them to, which is God. Amen. You know? That's awesome, man. Um, I really feel in my spirit in this last few years is that us as men, we've lost our grit. Yes. We've lost, you know, we've lost our balls, man. Yeah. Like, seriously. I mean, that's what separates us from women. Yeah. I mean, honestly. And, you know, I'm just going to go there, but we have sex changes. We have all that stuff going on that still don't make you a woman or, or a man. Yeah, Cause we, cause we check your DNA. You're still whatever you are. Yeah. Like period. And so you have God that created men to be a certain way to fight. Yep. We're constantly fighting something. Right. Yeah. And, and, and my, my thing is that. We're, we're not here to bash women. We're not here because the ultimate goal is, um, and the Bible is, is marriage. Oh, I love you know? women. And women that's are That's why I married my wife. But I think we need to show men how to stand for what's, what's right. Right. In a godly way and how to lead a home in a godly way. Absolutely. Absolutely. And so that's that's what this is going to be all about. Um, we'll find our, you know, foundational scripture, which I think is going to come out of Joshua. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Be strong and courageous. And, you know, I started that book, uh, right. yesterday <laughs> or two days ago. Right. And so, you know, Joshua was a warrior at heart, bro. Mm-hmm. Like he learned, he sat by the tabernacle, he listened to Moses, you know, and he never bashed Moses, but he was a whole different dude yeah. than Moses was. And so like, you're learning from me, mm-hmm. right? You're my armor bearer. You're my disciple, um, coaching you through some stuff and you're learning from me, but you ain't trying to be me. No. And I think that's where a lot of times in the body of Christ, we fail as pastors is because we're trying to re reproduce ourselves. And we want that person to do exactly what we tell them to do. No, dude, my job is to give you tools Mm -hmm. and say, all right, bro, this is a hammer. This is a nail. This is a stud. Yeah. This is sheetrock. You nail the sheetrock to the stud, and now you can build a wall. When I show you how to build the walls, and I show you how to sheetrock the whole room, and you're working there side by side with me, the next room that you get to, you're going to find your own tricks yeah. to make it easier for you, right? Mm-hmm. But what happens is, is, is leadership gets so controlling well, you're doing it the wrong way. Yeah. No, dude. All I care about is the end result. Yeah. Like, like you, uh, 
for instance, let's say you want them to hit the the nail with the hammer three seconds and they, and they you know, each right. hit. Right. Well, he might do it too. Right. But it don't mean that his is worse than yours. Right. Exactly. It's getting the job done. Exactly. And so I think there's a lot of valuable stuff that we are going to bring to the table through this podcast and not only through this podcast, but through the ministry, because something was birthed and, you know, getting back to my whole story of how it was birthed, I, I was thinking it was podcast, podcast, but I really felt the Holy Spirit pausing me saying, look, you got a few podcasts out there. Mm -hmm. Relax for a minute because I'm going to show you how to do this. Yeah. I'm going to show you what this is going to be. And then today at breakfast, that's why we're doing the podcast now. <laughs> Juan has never done a podcast, no. right? And so I was like, hey, dude. He's like, so, okay, so can we use? I'm like, yeah. He's like, are you sure? And I'm like, yeah. I mean, this is something from, from you. It's part of Set Free Life Church. Take it. Yeah. Like, run with it. I like when people run with something that was first mine, but they take their idea and attach it to it. Mm -hmm. It's, it's a no brainer Yeah. because the truth is, is that us as leaders can't do everything. Now, am I going to oversee it and make sure that it's, it's godly? Am I mm -hmm. going to make sure that it's structured? Am I going to make sure that we don't look like a bunch of dummies putting on a barbecue and, you know, Hey, bring your own grill and, you know, bring your own food and, you know, we're having a party, but we, we want you to bring everything. Or I'm going to take King's men and go minister at the top of this bar. Right. <laughs> Yeah, that's not how it works, you know, right? Yeah. And that's 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 where it falls into place of all right. Let's do this. Yeah. Because that's how you create leaders. You follow what I'm saying? And so, you know, getting back to that point of I was like, "All right, God, so here it is." And then it just kept lingering, it kept sitting there, kept sitting there. And even you had asked me a few weeks ago, "Hey, uh, so, you know, what's up with Kingsman podcast?" I said, "I don't know." Yeah. And then we created that group on that app, the networking app. And so mm -hmm. we have a few guys in there that, you know, we, we touch base in there. It's not a huge thing, but at the same time you were like, okay, so where, how is King's men like, is, is like, is that taken away from what we were going to do? And I said, no, because it's a ministry Yes, like King's men could be anywhere. That would be like set free life church. Yeah. It's not just the building. Mm -hmm. It's what you learn from set free life that you're able to go and help somebody else be set free. It doesn't have to go with the curriculum. It doesn't have to go with something. It's your experience that you're able to share with somebody else. And then they're learning that experience. And now they're going to take what they learned to somebody else. And it has nothing to do with our curriculum. Yeah. You follow what I'm saying? You know, one thing that um, caught me last week when, when, we're, when we're in service, in order to reach millions, you reach one. Right. You know, and... and so I, I kind of was thinking about that this week and I was like, wow, that's one person would say, well, that's just one. How powerful right. is that? Right. But then when you think about it, how many people that one know? Right. And how many influence that he, because you might have reached one that has a ton of influence on people. Come on. Because there's, there's leaders that have influence on people, but they don't know how to direct them or how the, cause they're not directed themselves. Right. They're but, just moving it. Motivating them and inspiring them. Exactly. But if you can reach them, that one person. Right. And he can be a multitude of influence. Right. For others. I relate it back to an apple. Mm -hmm. You could pick that one apple, but you don't know how many seeds are in that apple. Yes. And then you don't know how many apples are in that one seed. Yeah. You follow what I'm saying? Yep. So it's the same with people. Mm -hmm. You know, Christ was always going back to natural things to explain the gospel. And so that's what I love about how God speaks through me is through revelation of, you know, Apple and carpentry and art and all that kind of stuff. And so we just want to, we want to thank you guys for joining in Yes. and like really listening in. And yes, this is just a trailer. This is just the intro, but the next podcast, we're going to have topics. We're going to be breaking them down. We're going to be letting you know what's going on. We will have a, um, an actual uh, subscribe button on our website for the Kingsman podcast for registering for this event, retreat, event, whatever we're going to do. And so, you know, newsletters, all that kind of stuff that is going to keep this thing going. And, and so we just so blessed and uh, thankful for you guys tuning in. And once again, this is Pastor Paul, your set free life coach. Um, we're just doing this thing, man. So thank you. And thank you for joining us guys. And uh, we, um, we got, 
a lot going on in the future. Amen. All, all we got to do is just strive for it. Amen. So, men, go get built. Let's yep. stay strong. And let's be the men that God has called us to be. Amen. God bless. God bless. Thank <laughs> you.